specimens, and then um, that's it. Okay, let's say that I ran, I re-ran my level two, just like I said up here, remix and rerun level two. Um, and oh my gosh, it came in, okay? So it came in right on the mean. Hooray! At that point, you can just say that it's in and move about your day and start um, analyzing patient specimens. Okay, I put NA here because you always need to provide an answer <laughs> to make sure that your professor knows that you didn't skip it. Um, so in the LIS, you would have accepted this one. You would have accepted this one too, but then done uh, the troubleshooting um, skills. You don't ever really want to delete QC levels uh, because you want you want to be able to track what's happening with the analyzer throughout time. So if there was a shift or a trend away from the mean, if you if you get um, if you discard any of those, whoever is following those, like the tech technical specialist uh, or the supervisor or the lead tech on the bench, they're going to not realize that that's a problem and they're not going to be able to fix it because you have ended up taking away all the data points. So please don't do that. Accept the QC and then follow, um, follow the correct troubleshooting um, steps. Okay, let's do a different time, um, a different uh, maybe the next shift comes in and has to run QC. Let's do what they ended up seeing. All right, so the next shift came in. Maybe this is the same analyte, maybe it's not. Um, so let's plot the points. We have 18, uh, so that's up here. Okay, the next one was 62. And then for level three, it's 85. All right, so seeing here, we have one greater than three SD, one greater than two SD, and one one SD. All right, so we have greater than three SD and even though we only, we see that one is greater than two SD here, three is greater than two, right? So that makes it so we have two greater than two SD. So we're breaking all the rules here. Oops, I forgot that part. <laughs> That's so tiny, I'm sorry. So this is two greater than two SD. So that is absolutely out. So if... If this is the first time, we're going to run, rerun basically everything because two out of the three levels were out. So we're just going to run all of them because two out of three is not really good. <laughs> all right. So we are going to remix and rerun original QC. So we're going to say that this is a different analyte. Okay. Um, this is just a practice of how we did this again or how to do this again. Okay, so we're going to do run two. Okay, so here's re the rerun of the original QC. So let's plot it. So level one is 20. Where is 20? Oh, wait, way up here again, right? 20, the second one is 69. That's up here. And level three is 79. That's down here. Okay, so now, did it get any better? No. <laughs> it got worse, right? We've got one, uh, one greater than three SD. And we've got one, two, three <laughs> greater than 2SD, right? It's greater even though it's below because greater means outside in this case, outside of that range. Okay, so at this point, we have three greater than 2SD. So that's super out, right? We don't like that. These are off the line. Um, got kind of excited. Okay, so what do we do now? Oh my gosh, so that we, uh, we remixed and re-ran the original QC. So 
The next thing that we do is run new QC. Run new QC, ah, all right. So let's see what happened then. All right, so the third run of QC is with all three levels of new QC. Okay, so we ran new QC for levels one, two, and three. Let's plot them. So the first one is 13. Where is 13? 13 is right up here. The second level is 52. So that's up here. And the third level is 92. And that's down here. Okay, so now at this point we see there's two greater than two, sorry, two greater than one SD and one greater than the mean. That's pretty awesome, right? So this is two greater than one SD and one greater than the mean. And so that is perfectly in and hooray, <laughs> you're so excited because that's a great day. Okay, um, so these are all our points. You can go back and check them if you want. You can freeze your screen. All right, but that is the last time um, that we needed to run it and we can go ahead and run patient QC after that. I mean patient specimens after that. Thank you all so much for watching and if you really enjoyed this video please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.